you I'm older than dirt? <laughs> not one time has he ever not provided what I need. That's pretty amazing. And we're just we're just a handful of people compared to everybody in the world. And he's provided <coughs> everything we need. That's 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 faithfulness. Just think about that for a little while. That make you things that make you go, hmm. Right? We got a new box, don't we? Where's that thing at? This is pretty right here. We thought about keeping that, but we didn't. And I have no idea what's in it again, even though it's new. I wish I had got one that's got some peak holes so I could look into it and see what's in here. And it doesn't feel like there's anything. I have no clue, in case you're visiting, I have no clue what's in here when the kids take it home and surprise me, and I have to tie it into a verse or something in the Bible, hopefully. Skeleton man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to lose weight and get back to my original weight, about like that, but it's not working out. <laughs> well, I think about dry bones in Ezekiel. Hmm. There is a saying. You've not heard this yet because you're not old enough. But us adults, we know about it. It's called skeletons in our closet. You know what that means? You like skeletons? <laughs> you want a skeleton in your closet, you get up, you grow old, and you get some of those. There's a saying that a person might have skeletons in their closet. Okay? I have no idea what that really means, but it, it's kind of like things that they put in the closet that they don't want people to know about. And it's like we do things sometimes, and we, we think we're getting away with it, or we might... You ever, you ever been told to clean your room? Have you ever took stuff when you're supposed to be picking it up and just throw it in the closet and hide it up under the bed? <laughs> that's skeletons in your closet. Okay, That's what skeletons in your closet is. And as you get older, you're going to get better at doing that. When you're your parents' age, you're going to get really good at doing it. Because we do that. We have things that we don't want people to know. So we kind of hide them in our closet. But you know what's bad about it? Is no matter how bad we try to hide it, God always sees it. God sees everything that we do. But on the good side of that, if God sees everything that we do and everything that we go through, then we know when we go through bad things, He's watching over us. And He cares for us. Even during the bad things and the good things, Jesus always is watching over us. The song says, Great is God's faithfulness unto us. He's faithful to us. We're never as faithful to Him as we should be. But He is always faithful to us. <coughs> never, He'll never not be faithful to us. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Okay? I'm not always... There's times that I put football, watching football. I like football, okay? Be honest with you. There's times I watch football and I like football and I put football sometimes before my family. God's not like that. God always watches over us and He's always there. He's always faithful. And there's no, there's nothing that we can do. Even the skeletons in the closet, so to speak. 
He knows about everything, but He still loves us no matter how many bad things we do. Your parents, they're going to love you even if you throw stuff in the closet or sweep it up under the bed, right? They're still going to love you. They might get mad at you, right? But they still love you. And God's, God's the same way. God loves you, and He is faithful. He's also, the Bible says, He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. And He will cleanse us of our sins. Okay? And that's what that song was a little bit about that we sang a while ago. So let's thank God for even when we have little skeletons in our closets or sweep stuff up under the bed, hide it, don't make the whole bed, we just pull the sheet over the top, the comforter, and tuck it in, make it look good, and all the covers up under are just everywhere, right? We do that, one, surely. I don't like it. I make it up close to it. Let's thank God. Dear Lord, thank you for your love for us. We thank you so much for your faithfulness. And even when there's things that we shouldn't be doing, you are always faithful to forgive us of our sins. And we thank you for that. Lord, we pray for the children's church workers today as they go and work with the kids. Lord, that you would just help them to share a word about your love to them and that they would be able to understand it and that they would be able to apply it to their lives. Lord, we pray for these kids as they go through these next couple of days of school and they get ready for their Thanksgiving break. Would you just help them through it and so that they can enjoy some time away from the school and uh, time to be with their family and just be a kid. Because, Lord, those days will go by fast for them. And we just thank you for our kids in our church. Thank you so much for our youth in our church. We pray for them and we love each one of them. And Lord, just keep your eyes on them. Keep your hand on them each and every day. And thank you for all that you do. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.